Hello friends, uh, this is Dr. Monica working as consultant reproductive medicine at uh, 49 hospital Dilshuknagar branch. Today I want to discuss about the various ways in which a lady can augment or improve her basic fertility. So first of all we have to discuss what are the causes that can affect or cause infertility so that we can correct those areas to improve the fertility. So first and foremost will be some kind of problem in the ovary where an egg or a mature oocyte is not being released which is called anovulation. So this ovulatory dysfunction can be because of two reasons. First one which is the most common uh, a problem that is being faced almost among 1 in 10 women is PCOD the prevalence being almost 5 to 10 percent so various other endocrine causes. Next will be a reduced ovarian reserve. First talking about PCOS wherein a mature egg is not being released every month. The lady is not having regular cycles every month. So the first uh, problem will be in a lady trying to figure out did an egg release for her in that particular month. And the next confusion the lady carries out in her mind is when is the best time in the month that she and her husband can try for a pregnancy. So these two are uh, certain doubts that are carried out in the minds of an every lady who has PCOD issue. And uh, so to prevent this from happening or to make sure that she's having regular cycles or making sure that an egg is being released every month, the best measure will be lifestyle changes. So inculcate some kind of an exercise, make sure that you're exercising at least 15 minutes in a day, change the diet to having less of carbohydrates and more of proteins and make sure to lose at least some amount of weight because every one or two kgs of weight loss also will increase the outcome by 5%, will improve the fertility by almost 5%. So this is lifestyle. Next, if you, if at all, if this is not working out very well, then you will have to meet a fertility specialist. She will start you on basic drugs which are called ovulation induction. So ovulation induction involves certain medicines or injections being given to the lady to encourage the development of a follicle. And if these are also not helpful in the lady, then we might have to choose a second line of treatment which involves laparoscopic ovarian drilling, surgery or an IVF where we give injections on a daily basis to make sure that the follicles are growing. Now after PCOD, the next topic being reduced ovarian reserve. A physiological phenomenon, obviously a lady as she is growing, she is losing her eggs because every lady is born with a certain fixed number of eggs which die on a daily basis. Many women do not know this, they think it's a myth, they think that they are only losing one egg in each cycle which is not true. You are losing more number of eggs than one in a cycle, you are losing them every day, hundreds and thousands of eggs are dying every month. So what happens is the number of eggs that you are born with are declining as you age and especially the space of decline fastens after the age of 35. So in those women who are planning their careers and uh, planning the marriages and their family life a little later, so what happens is when they approach after 35, their reserve would have already declined. So they have very less number of eggs. Even the quality of the egg would have declined by now. So in these cases also getting pregnant will be slightly difficult. Now when you have this reduced ovarian reserve, you need to get a scan, look at the number of follicles in the ovary to see how poor is the reserve, get some blood test called like an AMH that is anti-mullerian hormone which tells you about the number of eggs that are actually remaining in your body. So accordingly we need to accelerate the treatment to make sure that you get pregnancy as, pregnancy as soon as possible. So this is next one. In few we have premature ovarian failure or premature ovarian insufficiency we like to call these days. In these women what happens is it is not physiological, it's not just the age, there is some other factors which when we are like it could be metabolic, it could be endocrine, it could be some problem that you were born with which is causing the pace of decline of the follicles at a faster pace and these ladies even as young as maybe 25 to 30 are looking at a reserve which is very low like someone who is uh, 35 plus, so this is one. Next, after the ovaries coming to tubes, so in tubes what happens is most often the tubes have to be patent for an egg and a sperm to meet and create an embryo in them. This patency of the tube or the function of the tube can be affected by infections. Ladies complaining of repeatedly vaginal discharges, uh, white discharge which can be foul smelling or itching per vagina. So in these cases 
you make sure that your tubes are tested for the patency because the infection from vagina or the cervix can slowly ascend the uterus and go to the tubes and cause certain amount of blockade or even destroy or injure the lining of the tube which is affecting or compromising the function of the tube. So that's where again the formation of the embryo or meeting of the egg and sperm are being affected and the pregnancy is not resulting. This is tubes and then very rampant problem silent tuberculosis we say. In Indians what happens is the tuberculosis problem is prevalent in the society and many of the ladies do not even know that they contracted tuberculosis. This is genital tuberculosis. So this genital tuberculosis silently is going and causing blockade of the tubes affecting the menstrual cycles. So these ladies that also has to be investigated. Now after the tube coming to the uterus where is the ultimate area the formed embryo has to come and implant is there any problem here. Now again the tuberculosis or any endometritis that is infections all can affect the lining as well. And another important thing to be noted is many of the ladies for uh, if they had an unplanned pregnancy or an accidental pregnancy they go and take over the counter empty peoples for abortion. But in such cases what happens is there can be risk of infections if it's not under supervision of a doctor and also certain quacks if you're getting the dilatation and curettage performed for abortions. Here what happens is they vigorously they curate the walls of uterus and they injure the basal line of the endometrium and the lining formation will be affected in the future cycles and pregnancy might not result so infertility might occur. So all these are certain basic things that we need to keep in mind or certain precautions that we should take or measures to avoid to make sure that our fertility is intact and uh, try to plan the pregnancy as soon as possible. Yeah, thank you. Above 35 years and getting pregnant. So what are these? These I'm talking about are medical conditions that can complicate the pregnancy.